Dedication and Preface of Summer of Love. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Summer of Love by Joyce Kilmer. Dedication to Aline. A vagrant minstrel of the street, no poet of the laurel crown. I kneel, dear princess, at your feet, and lay my book of verses down. See all the love that lingers there, and so for love's sake find it fair. Preface Certain of the poems in this volume are reprinted by kind permission of the editors of the following magazines and newspapers. The Call, Harper's Weekly, The Independent, Moods, The Pathfinder, the new york sun and the sunday magazine of the new york times i am glad to acknowledge my debt of gratitude to my mother mrs kilburn kilmer for her encouragement and assistance in making this book for sympathy and valuable advice i am deeply obliged to many friends particularly mr and mrs henry mills alden and mr robert cortez holliday in the preface Summer of Love by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson June lavishes sweet-scented loveliness And sprinkles sun-filled wine on everything. The very leaves grow drunk with bliss And sing, and every breeze becomes a soft caress. All earthly things felicity confess, And fairies dance in many a moonlit ring. The fleet-foot hours fresh wealth of joyance bring. Life wears her gayest rose-embroidered dress. Kind June, why bear these golden gifts to me? All winter long I hear the throstles tune, All winter long red roses I can see, Reading the while love's ancient magic rune. In love's fair garden close I wander free, So take your guerdon elsewhere, lovely June. In the poem. This recording is in the public domain. Villanelle of Loveland by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org Loveland is fair to see, Of all kind havens best. Dwell here, my sweet, with me. Here flowers bloom for thee, Thy feet are rose-caressed, Loveland is fair to see. The violets shall be thy soft and fragrant nest. Dwell here, my sweet, with me. Thou shalt not lack for glee. Here life is but a jest. Loveland is fair to see. None shall be glad as we. Ah! Grant me my behest, dwell here, my sweet, with me. Now would I ask my fee, thy red heart I request. Loveland is fair to see, dwell here, my sweet, with me. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain thurifer read for LibriVox.org by raghav dandi in a carven censer of burnished words swung on a golden chain of rhythm for you i burn my heart end of poem this recording is in the public domain In a Bookshop by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence In Wasega Beach, Ontario July 2020 All day I serve among the volumes Telling old tales of love and war and high romance Good company, God wot, is in them dwelling Brave knights who dared to scorn untoward chance King Arthur Sydney, Copperfield, the daring and friendly souls of Meredith's bright page, the pilgrim on his darksome journey faring, 
and Shakespeare's heroes, great in love and rage. Fair ladies, too, here Beatrice smiling, through hell leads Dante to the happy stars, and Helwa, the cruel guards beguiling, with Abelard makes mock of covenant bars. Yet, when night comes, I leave these folks with pleasure to open love's great summer-scented tome, within whose pages, precious beyond measure, my own white flower lady hath her home. In the poem, this recording is in the public domain. Edom by Joyce Kilmer, read for LibriVox.org by Julian Prattley. Sometimes within the garden of your sweetness, I rest and dream, and think of all the years before my soul had bloomed to fair completeness, those times of shadow laughter mixed with tears. And in my dreams I see a gentle maiden, whom I once loved and whom I still love, sweet, for she is like a rose with sunlight laden, and my lips ache to kiss her little feet. She is so pure, the very sky above her is not so fair with all its white and blue. And so, my love, I cannot help but love her, although my life and love belong to you. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. In Fairyland by Joyce Kilmer. Read for LibriVox.org by Julian Prattley. The fairy poet takes a sheet of moonbeam, silver white. His ink is dew from daisies sweet, his pen a point of light. My love, I know, is fairer far than his, though she is fair, and we should dwell where fairies are, for I could praise her there. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Sorrows of King Midas by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Julian Prattley King Midas took delight in golden vessels bright and yellow bars of ore he found most fair. But he had never seen the dancing, glancing sheen of sunlight on your dark and fragrant hair. His wealth could buy him wine, made from the purple vine, and sweet as all the blossom-breathing south. But he could never slake his thirst, nor ease the ache of his hot lips at your love-pliant mouth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Slender Your Hands by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Julian Prattley Slender your hands, and soft and white as petals of moon-kissed roses, Yet the grass with your fingers slight my passionate heart encloses. Innocent eyes like delicate spheres that are born when day is dying, Yet the wisdom of all the years is in their love-light lying. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Sleep Song by Joyce Kilmer, read for LibriVox.org by Raghav Dandi. The lady world is sleeping on her white and cloudy bed, like petals furled her eyelids close. Beside her dream-filled head, her lover stands in silver cloak and sheen, the faithful moon. So love, my love, sleep on, my love, my life, be not afraid. The moon above shall guard the world, and I, my little maid, your life, your love, your dreams are mine to keep. So sleep, so sleep. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Love's Thoroughfare by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Julian Prattley As down the primrose path to love I trod, The golden flowers kissed my eager feet. The wayside trees with singing birds were sweet. The summer air was like the smile of God. Turn back, said one. Escape the avenging rod. Soon thou the deathless flames of hell shall meet. But I pressed on and thought of no retreat, till soon with fire I was clothed and shod. But through the burning vales of hell, where flow the molten streams of bitterest despair, made blind by pain I stumbled on, and lo, I stood at last in love's own perfumed air. So, having reached my journey's end, I know that God made hell to be love's thoroughfare. 
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. White Bird of Love by Joyce Kilmer. Read for LibriVox.org by Julian Prattley. Little white bird of the summer sky, silver against the golden sun, over the green of the hills you fly, you and the sweet wild air are one. Glorious sights are in that far place, reached by your daisy petal wing. Rose coloured meteors dive through space, stars made of molten music sing. Still, though your quivering eager flight reaches the groves by heaven town, where all the angels cry out, Alight! Stop, little bird! Come down! Come down! Careless you speed over fields of stars, darting through heaven swift and free. Nothing your arrowy passage bars back to the earth and back to me. Here in the orchard of dream fruit fair, out of my dreams is built your nest. Blossoming dreams all the branches bear, fit for my silver dream bird's rest. Here, since they love you, the young stars shine. Through the white petals come their beams. Little white love-laden bird of mine, let them shine on you through my dreams. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Transfiguration by Joyce Kilmer. Read for LibriVox.org by Kevin S. If it should be my task, I being God, from whirling atoms to evolve your mate, with hands omnipotent I should create a great-souled hero with a starlight shod. The subject world should tremble at his nod, and all the angel host upon him wait. Yet he should leave his pomp and splendid state, and kneel to kiss the ground whereon you trod. But God, who like a little child is wise, made me a common thing of earthly clay, then bid me go and see within your eyes the flame of love that burns more bright than day. And as I looked, I knew with wild surprise I was transformed. Your heart and my heart lay. When first the golden dawn of love was breaking in your white soul, I kissed your gentle hand, and all my heart with strange sweet pain was aching, a wild new joy I could not understand. And now when I, your slender fingers taking, keep them enslaved to my hot lips' demand, I feel that same strange thirst that knows no slaking. But then, why should I wish to understand? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. My Lady by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Raghav Dandi The joy of pleasant places where Saturn still doth reign is in her gentle faces, calm ignorance of pain. The bliss of age is golden, in her slim hand is holden. By old gods she was molden, before the world knew stain. Her body is an altar, wherein is love enshrined. Before her worldlings falter, and cruel eyes grow kind. Her breath is breath of roses, from mystic garden closes. The troubled it composes, like nectar laid in wine. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Gifts of She by Joyce Kilmer, read for LibriVox.org by Kira Hayes. O she who weave the moonlight into shimmering white strands, O powerful and tender-hearted she, While I live at home in plenty, or am poor in far-off lands, I will thank you for the gifts you gave to me, For the silver collar that you wrought me by your magic art, for the scarlet seal that on my mouth you set, for the glorious white flower that you placed upon my heart. When the sun and moon shall die, I'll thank you yet. For around my throat the silver collar of soft arms I wear, on my mouth sweet lips have fixed the scarlet seal. On my heart the perfect flower white of deathless love I bear, and these charms, your gifts, ensure my lasting weal. O she who weave the moonlight into shimmering white strands, O powerful and tender-hearted she, Though I live at home in plenty or am poor in far-off lands, I will thank you for the gifts you gave to me. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. My Lady by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Raghav Dandi The joy of pleasant places where Saturn still doth reign 
is in her gentle faces, calm ignorance of pain. The bliss of age is golden, in her slim hand is holden. By old gods she was molden, before the world knew stain. Her body is an altar, wherein is love enshrined. Before her worldlings falter, and cruel eyes grow kind. Her breath is breath of roses, from mystic garden closes. The troubled it composes, like nectar laid in wine. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Ballad of My Lady's Beauty by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone Squire Adam had two wives, they say. Two wives had he for his delight. He kissed and clept them all the day, and clept and kissed them all the night. Now Eve, like ocean foam, was white, and Lilith roses dipped in wine. But though they were a goodly sight, no lady is so fair as mine. To Venus some folks tribute pay, and Queen of Beauty she is height, and Saint Marie the world doth sway in several napery bedight. My wonderment these twain invite, their comeliness it is divine, and yet I say, in their despite, no lady is as fair as mine. Dame Helen caused a grievous fray, for love of her brave men did fight. The eyes of her made sages fay, and put their hearts in woeful plight. To her no rhymes will I indite, for her no garlands will I twine. Though she be made of flowers and light, no lady is so fair as mine. L'envoi Prince Eros, lord of lovely might, who on Olympus dost recline, do I not tell the truth aright? No lady is as fair as mine. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Love's Rosary by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson Love's Rosary is ours this holiday, So let us worship Eros, Lord of Bliss. Let me be priest and teach you as we pray Love's Rosary. The first fair golden globe denotes a kiss. Curve your sweet lips the proper churchly way, And you must lie within my arms at this. Keep all my rights, I will not do to miss a single bead in all the long array. Ah, sweet, will tell on every day I wish love's rosary. The princess cried. Her tears fell on the ground like pearls of moonlight, precious, fair, and round. But when the princess whom I worship cries, then from the clouded heaven of her eyes, rain of such sweet wild loveliness I sip, my heart says stop but not my eager lip. In the poem, this recording is in the public domain. Tribute by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org Because my love has lips that taste of glory, that breathe of love, that are as red as wine. My days and nights are as a pleasant story, told in a valley sweet with rose and vine. Because my love has hair that smells of flowers, that is as soft and cool as forest shade, therefore the tale of all my blissful hours be right in gold, and at her footstool laid. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Matin by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org 
by P. H. Dupont. Soft purple shadows cloud love weary eyes. Dawn's saffron glow is on the tossed white bed. Now passion's day, warm fragrant night is fled. A cold gray shroud on love's bright altar lies. From dusky corners, ghostly dreams arise. The pallid wraiths of kisses newly dead. They float and blend above her sleeping head. Her languid red lips quiver as she sighs. And so, like Adam when in fear and shame, he saw God's soldiery in fierce array, and sorrowing from Eden's threshold came to bear what pains life on his soul might lay. I see dawn standing with a sword of flame, and from my Eden turn in grief away. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Valentine by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org My songs should be as lilies fair And roses made of crimson light To lie amid the fragrant hair and on the breast of my delight. Such glory is for them too high, I'll scatter them adown the street, And when my love is passing by, They will rise up and kiss her feet. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Star o' Love by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Seta The sun pours gold upon the waking earth And makes the hills and valleys ring with glee Brings fruits and flowers to their joyous birth And paints strange colors on the foaming sea The moon, with quivering wand of silver white Calls forth the fairies to their circling dance Bids lovers seek their never-old delight and fills the air with perfume of romance. Yet, sun, thy glory passes with the day, and moon, the dawn destroys thy loveliness. But thou, sweet star o' love, wilt shine alway, nor night nor day can make thy splendor less. Fade, lordly sun, and moon forget to shine, since thy white wonder, star o' love, is mine. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. For a Birthday by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson April with her violets, May and June with roses, Young July with all her flowers, Crimson, gold, and white, Each in place her tribute sets, Each her wreath composes, making glad the roadway for the lady of delight. Birds with many colors gay, through the branches flitting, sing to greet my lady love a lusty welcome song. Even bees make holiday, hive and honey quitting, tremulous and jubilant, they join the eager throng. Now the road is flower-paved, timid fawns are peering from their pleasant vantage in the roadside's leafy green. All the world in sunlight laved knows the hour is nearing that shall bring the golden presence of the well-loved queen. Hark, at last the silver trill of a lute is sounding. Happy August, purple-clad, appears with all her train. Sudden sweet the branches fill. Every heart is bounding. August comes, the kindly nurse of her who is to reign. And now with proud and valiant gait, an hundred centaurs come. Pan rides the foremost one in state. The waiting crowd grows dumb. Each centaur wears a jeweled thong and harness bright of sheen. They draw through surging floods of song the carriage of the queen. Hail, hail, hail to the queen in her moonstone car. Hail, hail, hail to the lady whose slaves we are. We of the meadows, the rocks, and the hills 
dwellers in oceans and rivers and rills, beasts of the forest and birds of the air, linnet and butterfly, lion and bear, daisy and daffodil, spruce tree and fir, yield to our queen and do homage to her. Hail, 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 we welcome thy royal sway. Hail, 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 O queen, on this festal day. So all the world kneels down to you, and all things are your own. Now let a humble rhymer sue before your crystal throne. Fair queen, at your rose-petal feet, bid me to live and die. Not all your world of lovers, sweet, can love so much as I. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Use of Night by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Melody Coriati I said, what is the use of somber night? The moon replied, to frame my love-wan face. A fairy dame said, that my fresh-wove lace may on the grasses catch the sun's first light. That we may keep with song our ancient right croaked glistening frogs from their dank dwelling place. That I may halt, a man said, in my race, and rest my eyes that are grown tired of sight. Your ebon frame, pale moon, makes you more fair. Weave, gentle neighbor. Frogs, pipe loud your song. Sad traveler, be dreamless, sleep your share, and I would have night twenty times as long and clasp my love in some dark bower where the day could never come to do us wrong. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Alchemy by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Richard Green www.richardgreenmagic.com I sang two little songs one day. I sang them for a lady's pleasure. I took her praise for wreath of bay, her smile for largest beyond measure. I sang out in the market square, and most folk could not understand. One who by chance was passing there dropped down some silver in my hand. Now since the songs I gave you, sweet, have turned to silver, fair, and gleaming, for your pleasance, as is most meet, the silver turns to song and dreaming. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Wayfarers by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Valentina Vicelli Underneath the orchard trees lies a gypsy sleeping, Tattered cloak and swarthy face and shaggy moonlit hair. One brown hand his crazy fiddle in its grasp is keeping, through the land of dreams he strolls and sings his love songs there. Up above the apple blossoms where the stars are shining, free and careless, wandering among the clouds he goes, singing of his lady love and for her pleasure twining wreaths of heaven flowers, violet and golden rose. In his sleep he stirs and wakes to find his love beside him, pours his load of dreamland blooms before her silver feet, takes her in his arms, and as her soft brown tresses hide him, both together fair to dreamland up the star-paved street. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. With a Mirror by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Valentina Vicelli Carved by a swarthy knave, close by the Adrian wave, came I to being. To me a soul he gave, and gold he did me lave, to suit your seeing. Mine is a pleasant life, Jove bless his flashing knife, who wrought my living. For me nor care nor strife, joys in my days are rife, joys of your giving. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Princess Ballad by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Melody Coriati Never a horn sounds in Sherwood tonight. Friar Tuck's drinking Olympian ale. Little John's wandered away from our sight. Robin Hood's bow hangs unused on its nail. 
Even the moon has grown weary and pale, sick for the glint of Maid Marian's hair. But there is one joy on mountain and dale. Fairies abound all the time, everywhere. Saints have attacked them with sacredest might. They could not shatter their gossamer mail. Steam-driven engines can never affright fairies who dance in their spark-sprinkled trail. Still for a warning the sad banshees wail. Still are the leprechauns ready to bear purses of gold to their captors for bail. Fairies abound all the time, everywhere. Oberon, king of the realms of delight, may your domain over us never fail. Mab, as a rainbow-hued butterfly bright, yours is the glory that age cannot stale. When we are planted down under the shale, fairy folk, drop a few daffodils there. Comfort our souls in the Stygian vale. Fairies abound all the time, everywhere. L'envoi. White flower princess, those sophisters rail, let us be glad in faith that we share. None shall the good people safely assail. Fairies abound all the time, everywhere. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Lullaby for a Baby Fairy by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Valentina Vicelli Night is over, through the clover globes of crystal shine. Birds are calling, sunlight falling on the wet green vine. Little wings must folded lie, little lips be still, while the sun is in the sky. Over fairy hill, sleep, sleep, sleep. Baby with buttercup hair, golden rays into the violet creep. Dream, dream deep. Dream of the night revels fair. Daylight stays. Sleep, little fairy child, sleep. Rest in daytime. Night is playtime, all good fairies know. Under sighing grasses lying, off to slumber go. Night will come with stars agleam, lilies in her hand. Calling you from hills of dream back to fairyland. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Baby with buttercup hair. Golden rays into the violet creep. Dream, dream deep. Dream of the night revels fair. Daylight stays. Sleep, little fairy child, sleep. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. George Meredith by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone He listened to the mighty lyre of earth and learned the lore of soul-compelling song. He pondered on the rune of right and wrong, and saw the hearts of men, their woe, their mirth. In him our vision had a second birth, for by his words we saw as in some strong, enchanted lens the conscience of the throng, the font of ill, the hidden source of worth shall death claim him on deathless knowledge reared shall dreams o'ertake the master of the dream nay his perfect love that never feared his words send through our grief a radiant gleam with life and death i walked and love appeared and made them on each side a shadow seem end of poem this recording is in the public domain And Forbid Them Not by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson No trespassing signs in a churchyard Tall, bleak, austere the mighty buildings loom Hard, bare, and dull the grimy city street Here by the church is found a little room Roofed with blue sky and with green turf made sweet Surely the master of this house would smile Seeing the children on his grass at play seeing the mothers rest a little while out of the turmoil of the busy day. Soon will he ask, where are the children gone, they who should share this pleasant sacred place? No little feet are treading this soft lawn, here shines no glory from a little face. Ye in whose trust this Christian church is left, think ye that thus ye serve your master mild? None by his will are of this home bereft, they love him not who wrong a little child. In the poem. This recording is in the public domain.
A Dead Poet by Joyce Kilmer. Read for LibriVox.org by L. Dean Meisenheimer. August 10th, 2020. Fair death, kind death. It was a gracious deed to take that weary vagrant to thy breast. Love, song, and wine had he, and but one need. Rest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Morning Meditations of Frere Hyacinthus by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone So he is dead and damned, and all is well. So fare all traitors to the church and God, Cursed and cast out with candle, book, and bell, And thrust to rot beneath unhallowed sod. The mouth that sounded once St. Mary's name, He smirched and stained with scarlet wine of lust. Therefore is he become a thing of shame, Anathema and alien to the just. We prayed within the cloister side by side, He chose the world wise in his own conceit. I kept our blessed lady for my bride, To paths of sin he set his wayward feet. And she is dead too, lies with him, they say. I lies with him, they are together still. That golden girl I saw one summer day, Tending her kine upon the pasture hill. God, God, is not my blood like his blood red? God, God, do I not see that she was fair? Did I not close my eyes and bow my head? and purge my soul with fasting and with prayer? God see my flesh with scourgings cut and scarred, God see my frame with fasting weak and thin, God see my face with tears and sorrow marred, God see my soul burnt white and clean of sin. Tempted I was like him but did not yield, outcast is he and damned and spit upon, Elect am I, and with thine own sign sealed, Washed white and pure in blood of Christ thy Son. And yet, and yet, O oh God, that dream last night, When I had prayed before thy blessed shrine, And sought to rest a while before the light, Should call me to new services of thine. Then as I slept it seemed I was with thee in heaven, and I looked down into hell, that I the cursed souls in pain might see, and be more glad that I had served thee well. I saw the place with blood-red flames alight, I saw the damned and heard their shrieks and groans, and then there burst upon my eyes a sight that turned to lead the marrow in my bones. There in his arms her soft white body lay. Shielded by him she kissed his mouth and smiled. Round them the flames kept their unheeded sway. Even to hell love made them reconciled. It's time for mass, God bless the newborn day. How very fair it is and sweet and still. Down yonder lane she used to make her way to tend her kine upon the pasture hill. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Villanelle of the Players by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone Violets fade with the May, Purple and fragrant they die, Players live for a day. What is their legacy, pray? Where does their loveliness lie? Violets fade with the May. Actors in motley array, Grace of your memory cry, Players live for a day. Where the sad pine trees sway, Lonely the reft winds sigh, Violets fade with the May. Withered the wreaths of bay, Wine cups are cracked and dry, 
players live for a day clouds of the sunset sky none shall their eulogy say violets fade with the may players live for a day end of poem this recording is in the public domain the mad fiddler by joyce kilmer read for librivox.org by andrew gauntz I sleep beneath a bracken sheet in sunlight or in rain. The road dust burns my naked feet, the sun rays sear my brain. But children love my fiddle's sound, and if a lad be straying, his mother knows he may be found where old mad Larry's playing. O oh, fiddle, let us follow, follow, till we see my Eileen's face. Through the moonlight, like a swallow, off she flew to some far place. Oh, did you ever love a lass? I loved a lass one day. And she would lie upon the grass and sing while I would play. She was a cruel, lovely thing, nor heart nor soul have I. For Eileen took them that soft spring when she flew to the sky. So fiddle, let us follow, follow, till we see my Eileen's face. Through the moonlight, like a swallow, off she flew to some far place. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Grass in Madison Square by Joyce Kilmer. Read for LibriVox.org by L. Dean Meisenheimer. August 10th, 2020. The pleasant turf is dried and marred and seared. The grass is dead. No soft green shoot by rain and sunshine reared lifts up its head. I think the grass that made the park so gay in early spring now decks the lawns of heaven where babies play and dance and sing. And poor old vagabonds who now have left the dusty street find fields of which they were in life bereft beneath their feet. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Chevrolet Crossing by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone where two roads cross by Chevrolet town, a man is lying dead. The rumbling wains of scented hay roll over his fair head. A stake is driven through his heart, for his own blood he shed. Among the pleasant flower stars by God's own garden gate, a little maid fresh come from earth one summer night did wait. Her poppy mouth dropped down with fear, with fear her eyes were great. The angel saw her sinless face, the gate was opened wide. She only shook her dawn-crowned head, and would not come inside. She was alone, and so afraid, she hid her face and cried. Her tears dropped down like sun-filled rain, through stars and starless space, until at last in Chevrolet town, where in a moonlit place her lover knelt upon her grave, they fell upon his face. Said he, My love, my only love, my Eleanor, my sweet, through what wild ways of mystery have strayed your little feet? Alone, alone, this lonely night where only spirits meet. It is not my bleak desert life that turns my heart to lead, not for my empty arms I mourn, nor for my loveless bed, but that you wander forth alone on heights I may not tread. If I could stand beside you now, sin-burdened though I be, I'd bear you through the trackless ways from fear and danger free not god himself could daunt the strong undying love of me though heaven is a pleasant place what joy for you is there who tread the jewelled streets alone without my heart to share each throb of your heart and my arm around you o oh my fair i hear your sobbing in the wind and in the summer rain 
i feel your tears my heart is pierced with your sad lonely pain my love my only love i come you shall not call in vain where two roads cross by Chevalier town a man is lying dead the rumbling wains of scented hay roll over his fair head a stake is driven through his heart for his own blood he shed end of poem this recording is in the public domain Said the Rose by Joyce Kilmer, read for LibriVox.org by Andrew Gantz. No flower hath so fair a face as this pale love of mine. When he bends down to kiss my heart, my petals try to twine about his lips to hold them fast. He is so very fair, my lover with the pale sad face and forest fragrant hair. I think it is a pleasant place, this garden where I grow with gravel walks and grassy mounds and crosses in a row. There is no toil nor worry here, nor clatter of the street, and here each night my lover comes, pale, sad, and very sweet. He never heeds the violets or lilies tall and white. I am his love, his only love, his flower of delight. And often when the cold moonbeams are lying all around, my lover kneels the whole night through beside me on the ground. How can I miss the sunshine-laden breezes of the south, when all my heart is burning with the kisses of his mouth? How can I miss the coming of the comfort-bringing rain, when his hot tears are filling me with heaven's sweet love pain? There is a jealous little bird that envies me my love. He sings this bitter, bitter song from his brown nest above. Was ever yet a mortal man who wed a flower wife? He loves the girl down in your roots whose dead breast gives you life. O oh, little bird, O oh, jealous bird, fly off and cease your chatter. My lover is my lover, and what can a dead girl matter? In his hot kisses and sweet tears I shall my petals steep. I am his love, his only love. I have his heart to keep. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. White Marble and Green Grass by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Seta Starlight, sunlight, silver light and gold All are dark for love's great flame is cold Rose wind, garden wind, and morning's breath Are ye stronger than the scent of death? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Metamorphosis by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org He was an evil thing to see. Of joy his mouth was desolate. His body was a stunted tree. His eyes were pools of lust and hate. Now silverly the linnet sings, on leaves that from his temples start, And gay the yellow crocus brings From the rich clod that was his heart. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Absinthe by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone I have prayed to the Christ of the merciful eyes, I have prayed to the Lord of hosts, I have prayed but in vain for God to rise, And scatter these murderous ghosts, These horrible beckoning ghosts that sigh, And beckon me where, ah where? O oh, little green God in your crystal shrine, you only will heed my prayer. The breath of your mouth is a powerful wind that whirls sorrow shadows away. The light of your eyes burns the bonds that bind. 
I escape from the earth's fell sway. The pallid figures in threatening line, they falter and tremble and flee. O oh, little green god in your crystal shrine, shed some of your glory on me. I have given you service, sincere and prolonged. I have given you love, ah, you know. Though I pray in a fame by your worshippers thronged, there is no one who worships you so. My hand and my heart and my brain are divine. Lord, master of living, I give. O oh, little green god in your crystal shrine, take these and then bid me live. By a green marble house in a garden of green, green roses bloom neath a green sun, where the maidens have eyes of an emerald sheen, and the strife and the labour are done. O oh, there let me dwell where the ravenous wine of the earth ghosts is soundless and dead. O oh, little green god in your crystal shrine, your heavenly dream shower shed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Theology by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org The blade is sharp, the reaper stout, and every daisy dies. Their souls are fluttering about. We call them butterflies. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. For a Child by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Kathleen his mind has neither need nor power to know the foolish things that men call right and wrong for him the streams of pleasant love wind flow for him the mystic sleep compelling song through love he rules his love made universe and sees with eyes by ignorance made keen the fawns and elves whom older eyes disperse great pan and all the fairies with their queen king gods i pray bestow on him this dole not wisdom wealth nor mighty deeds to do but let him keep his happy pagan soul the poet vision simple free and true to hunt the rainbow gold and phantom lights and meet the dryads on the wooded heights End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To J. B. Y. by Joyce Kilmer. Read for LibriVox.org by Kathleen. Bitter and selfish sorrow, poverty, strife, and ruth, fear of the dreadful morrow, these took away our youth. Angus is bending o'er us we are too old to see too old to hear before us moon-drenched songs of she dreamer of dreams and lover young as our love and dreams show us the she that hover over the silver streams give us the song and story make us to live anew bathed in your youthful glory let us be young like you End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The King's Ballad by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Kathleen Good, my king, in your garden close, Hark to the thrushes trilling, Why so sad when the maiden rose, Love at your feet is spilling, Gold in the air and honey sweet, sapphire the sky it is not meet sorrowful faces should flowers greet hark to the thrushes trilling all alone walks the king to-day hark to the thrushes trilling far from the throne he steals away loneness and quiet willing roses and tulips and lilies fair smile for his pleasure everywhere 
yet of their joyance he takes no share hark to the thrushes trilling ladies wait in the palace sire hark to the thrushes trilling red and white for the king's desire love warm and sweet and thrilling breasts of moonshine and hair of night glances amorous soft and bright nothing is lacking for thy delight hark to the thrushes trilling kneels the king in a grassy place hark to the thrushes trilling little flowers under his face with his warm tears are filling says the king here my heart lies dead where my fair love is buried would i were lying here instead hark to the thrushes trilling end of poem this recording is in the public domain jesus and the summer rain by joyce kilmer read for LibriVox dot org by kathleen over the hills and across the plain treading their gypsy way ragged and penniless vagrants twain went with a child one day sunburnt and barefooted was the man poor was the woman's dress over the baby the sunbeams ran winds gave him soft caress brother o mine said the summer rain brother o mine said he take you the vagabond's joy and pain vagabond shall you be banned by the rich and the folk of power outcasts shall love you well harlots and thieves in your dying hour closest to you shall dwell never a home nor a biding place where you may rest your load ever the starlight on your face ever the open road brother o oh mine said the summer rain brother o oh mine said he take you the vagabond's joy and pain vagabond shall you be end of poem this recording is in the public domain the ballad of butterflies by joyce kilmer read for LibriVox.org by richard green www.richardgreenmagic.com because we never build a nest and no one of us ever sings we are the butt of every jest that strutting loud-mouth robin flings unless the field with laughter rings and we are meek in our replies his claws and beak to bear he brings have pity on all butterflies since we are of no home possessed and have no joy in courts and kings and love on working days to rest the name of idlers to us clings on all our gypsy travelings they follow us with jeering cries from every rose a spider springs have pity on all butterflies a little thing is our request some peace from nets or sticks and strings an hour to feel the sunlight zest to escape the deadly bee that stings from hostile fortunes bolts and slings give us release ere summer dies we dread the winter's threatenings have pity on all butterflies l'envoi great pan kind lord of living things look on us now with friendly eyes we pray to you on trembling wings have pity on all butterflies end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Clouded Sun by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone To A.S. It is not good for poets to grow old, For they serve death that loves and love that kills, And love and death enthroned above the hills Call back their faithful servants to the fold, before age makes them passionless and cold. Therefore it is that no more sorry thing can shut the sunlight from the thirsty grass than some grey head through which no longer pass wild dreams more lively than the scent of spring to fire the blood and make the glad mouth sing. 
far happier he who young and full of pride and radiant with the glory of the sun leaves earth before his singing time is done all wounds of time the graveyard flowers hide his beauty lives as fresh as when he died then through the words wherein his spirit dwells the world may see this young impetuous face unmarred by time with undiminished grace while memory no piteous story tells of barren days stale loves and broken spells brother and master we are wed with woe yea grief's funereal cloud it is that hovers above the head of us thy mournful lovers uncomforted and sick with pain we go dust on our brows and at our hearts the snow the london lights flare on the chattering street young men and maidens love and dance and die wine flows and perfumes float up to the sky once thou couldst feel that this was very sweet now thou art still mouth hands and weary feet o oh, subtle mouth whereon the sphinx has placed the smile of those she kisses at their birth sing once again for spring has thrilled the earth nay thou art dumb not even april's taste is sweet to thee in thy live coughing cased there is no harsher tragedy than this that thou who fellest as no man before scent colour taste and sound and didst outpour for us rich draughts of thine enchanted bliss shouldst be plunged down this cruel black abyss brother and master if our love could free thy flame-born spirit from its leaden chain thou shouldst rise up from this sad house of pain be young and fair as thou wast wont to be and strong with joy as in the boundless sea brother and master at thy feet we lay these roses red as lips that thou hast sung and cypress wreaths above thy head are hung to mingle with the green and fragrant bay we kneel a while then turn in tears away end of poem this recording is in the public domain. In Memoriam, Florence Nightingale, by Joyce Kilmer, read for LibriVox.org by Richard Green, www.richardgreenmagic.com. She whom we love, our lady of compassion, can never die, for love forbids her death. Love has bent down in his old kindly fashion and breathed upon her his immortal breath. On wounded soldiers in their anguish lying, her gentle spirit shall descend like rain. Where the white flag with the red cross is flying, there shall she dwell, the vanquisher of pain. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Ballad of Three by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone Upon the river's brink she stands And tastes the dawn's white breath She wrings her slender silver hands God's curse on love, she saith Love binds me with his cruel bands That break not save with death now Geoffrey is a huntsman bold, and slays the mountain deer, and Hugh ploughs up the fragrant mould, and plucks the ripened ear. In friendship would these twain grow old, did I not dwell anear. Hugh brings me grapes with sunlight sweet, like globes of amethyst, while Geoffrey's fawn with snowflake feet is corded to my wrist. They mutter curses when they meet, their sight dims with red mist. And it is love has done this thing, yea, Geoffrey loves my hair, and Hugh lifts up his voice to sing that my sad face is fair, and love strews poison in the spring and fouls the pleasant air. 
but not for my poor loveliness shall blood of brothers flow what is one woman more or less and what is love but woe i want no murderer's caress so for love's sake i go lads sheathe your knives no use to fight the lady you would wed shall sleep alone in state to-night with candles at her head lift friends this figure still and white and bear her to her bed end of poem this recording is in the public domain court musicians by joyce kilmer read for librivox dot org by alan mapstone as when in summer scented days gone by the court musicians dressed in velvets gay and golden silks would on their gitterns play and blend their voices with the strings love cry so that the princess from her tower on high might through the rose-framed window hear their lay and make more splendid the resplendent day by leaning out her choristers to spy so now with weary voice and violin two court musicians rend the dusty air their shrill notes pierce the elevated din and thrill a girl's heart with a pleasure rare for her has sweeter music never been they never saw a princess half so fair end of poem this recording is in the public domain the dead lover by joyce kilmer read for LibriVox org. I tire of lovely faces free from pain and free from sin. Here none with lips wet with the crimson stain may enter in. One thing I lack, and lacking it am dead, a woman's heart she cannot enter here an angel said i will depart i have one prayer that i will make to god that i may stay where lies my body underneath the sod then night and day i shall be where my dear false love may pass it will be sweet to hear above my head, upon the grass, her little feet. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Poet's Epitaph by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org By P. H. DuPont Dreams fade with morning light, never a morn for thee, dreamer of dreams, good night. Over our earthly sight, shadows of woe must be, dreams fade with morning light. Soldiers awake to fight, thou art from strife set free, dreamer of dreams, good night. Day breaketh cruel, white, lovely the forms that flee. Dreams fade with morning light. Thine is the sure delight, sleep visions still to see. Dreamer of dreams, good night. Pity us from thy height, dawn haunted slaves are we. Dreams fade with morning light. Dreamer of dreams, good night. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Subway by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence Tired clerks, pale girls, street cleaners, businessmen, 
boys, priests and harlots, drunkards, students, thieves, each one the pleasant outer sunshine leaves. They mingle in this stifling, loud-wheeled pen. The gates clang too. We stir, we sway, and then we thunder through the dark. The long train weaves its gloomy way. At last, above the eaves, we see a while God's day, then night again. Hurled through the dark, day at Manhattan Street, the rest all night. That is my life, it seems. Through sunless ways go my reluctant feet. The sunlight comes in transitory gleams, and yet the darkness makes the light more sweet, the perfect light about me in my dreams. In the poem, this recording is in the public domain. The Other Lover by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Andrew Gantz I'm home from off the stormy sea, and down the street The folk come out to welcome me on eager feet. O oh, neighbors, God be with you all, but for my true love I must call. She lingers in her father's hall, so shy, so sweet. Here is a string of milky pearls for her to wear, An amber comb to match the curls of her bright hair. O oh, neighbors, do not crowd me so, stand by, stand by, For I must go to put on my love's hand of snow This gold ring fair. Good dame, why do you block the way and shake your head? Must all the things you have to say just now be said? O oh, neighbors, let me pass, but why? My God, what makes you women cry? Come, tell me that I too may die, is my love dead? Nay, Marjorie's a living thing, and fair and strong, Yet you did wait to give your ring a year too long. To seek her love there came the moon, Now Marjorie at night and noon Is chained and sits alone to croon the moon's love song. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Age Comes a Wooing by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone With shameless and incessant lust Thy tremulous hot hands are thrust Upon my body's loveliness. O oh, loathsome age, thy foul caress Puts on my heart a deadly blight, Withers my hair to leprous white, Binds fetters on my eager feet, That once in springtime's road were fleet, To bear me to love's shining goal. Now bitter tides of sorrow roll, To drown me in a sea of woe, And God looks on, and wills it so. Give over thy pursuing age, Fearest thou not my lover's rage? For he is young and strong of limb, Thou canst not stand about with him. Ah, surely he will laugh to see So wan a suitor wooing me. Then with wild scorn his heart will swell, And he will fling thee back to hell. O oh, love, that stronger art than death, Enfold me from the burning breath Of age that has grown amorous, That sears and blasts me, even thus, men say, his passionate embrace Spoils maids and flowers of their grace, And every woman's fate is cast To be his paramour at last. And so all lovely things are made, Shameful and in the ashes laid, To die alone uncared for. Such is the pollution of his touch. Stars that have shone since time began, Rivers that saw the birth of man, And mountains that are fair and green, And were when Helen was a queen, White dreams that never can grow old, Stories of love and glory told, By Homer once, and ballads sung, Aeons ago, ye still are young. Tell me the secret of your youth, Can any weeping fill with ruth, Age that is harsh and pitiless? Nay, they are blind to my distress. They have not feared the grasping hand Of age and cannot understand. 
love saw my whitened hair and laughed and bid me drain a bitter draught while in my lover's startled eyes a lurking terror strangely lies there is no place in which to hide when age comes seeking for his bride end of poem this recording is in the public domain Prayer to Bragi by Joyce Kilmer Recording for LibriVox.org by Melody Coriati The world-rocking roar of the thunder, The red lightning's death-dealing flash, The wind that rends mountains asunder, The tempest's sharp, blood-bringing lash, Beneficent silvery rivers that stream from the dream-laden moon, And crimsoning fire that delivers bound life at the sun's freeing noon. These swell like a marvelous ocean, all throbbing and leaping and strong. O Bragi, in thy magic potion of pain and of sweetness and song. The lifeblood of Kvasir was taken, sharp heart-seeking knives made him bleed. But still shall his spirit awaken in singers who drink of thy mead. The honey from forests of flowers, poured out as the milk from the kine, it flows through the undying hours from lips that are wet with thy wine. O oh, Bragi, dear master of singing, song thirsty I beg for thy dole. To thy knees, a suppliant clinging, I pray for a draught from thy bowl. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Imitation of Richpin's Ballad of the Beggar's King Hey, come to me, you slipshod race, Picklocks and squealing bagpipe crew. Come, strumpet, knave, and monkey face. Come, loafers, I'm the lad for you. Come, ragged cloak and tattered shoe. Your wild, hot liberty I sing, For I am of your nation, too, the poet, is the beggar's king. You playthings of the copper's mace, you toys of wind and rain and dew, you whom the yelping watchdogs chase, whom blows and noisome ills pursue, whose paltry rags the wind strikes through as through some rotten paper thing, to whom nor want nor woe is new, the poet is the beggar's king. You hoboes, whom the sun's embrace has burned to darkly golden hue. You trollops, full of love and grace, whom half a hundred lovers woo. You little crawling babies, who just wear your hides for costuming. Old toothless men, with noses blue. The poet is the beggar's king. L'envoi. My subjects all, and vassals true, come, Give me royal welcome. May booze be plenty, bulls be few. The poet is the beggar's king. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Love and the Fowler's Boy by Joyce Kilmer. Read for LibriVox.org by Ellis Kim. By on 414. Lo, the fowler's little lad, through the woodland straying, Sight of winged love hath had in the branches playing. Ah, he cries, a bonny prey, sets his bow to wing him. Cupid blows the dart away, that to earth would bring him. Now the boy in angry woe casts away his quiver. To his master straight doth go, and the tale deliver. Set the sage, nay, not for thee, such a bird to harry. From the haunted forest flee, where such creatures tarry. Though it now escape thy dart, let not tears be flowing. It will light upon thy heart, ere thy beard be growing. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Way of Love by Joyce Kilmer Read for LibriVox.org by Laurie Wilson an old legend when darkness hovers over earth and day gives place to night then lovers see the milky way gleam mystically bright 
and calling it the way of love they hail it with delight she was a lady wondrous fair a right brave lover he and sooth they suffered grievous pain and sorrowed mightily for they were parted during life by leagues of land and sea she died then death came to the man he met him joyfully and said thou angel of death well met quick do thy will with me that i may haste to greet my love in heaven's company now on one side of heaven he dwelt and on the other she and broad between them stretched sheer space whereon no way might be the empty yawning awful depth unplumbed infinity the deathless spheric melody came gently to his ear and dulcet notes the harmonies of seraphs chanting near he heeded not for listening his lady's voice to hear the saints and martyrs round him ranged in goodly company the virgin robed in radiance the holy trinity he heeded not but strained his eyes his lady's face to see at last from far across the void her voice came faint and sweet the bright-hued walls of paradise did the glad sound repeat the distant stars on which she stood shone bright beneath her feet dear love she said o oh, come to me i cannot see your face o oh, will not lord christ grant to us to cross this sea of space then thrilled his heart with love's own might he answered by love's grace the world is wide the heaven is wide from me to thee is far alas across infinity no passage ways there are sweetheart i'll make my way to thee i'll build it star by star through all the curving vault of sky his lusty blows rang out he smote the jewel-studded walls and with a mighty shout he tore the gleaming masonry and posts that stood about he strove to build a massive bridge that should the chasm span with heart upheld by hope and love his great task he began and toiled and labored doughtily to work his godlike plan he took the heavy beams of gold that round him he did see the barrel jacinth sardius that shone so brilliantly and no fair jewel would he spare so zealously worked he he stole the gorgeous tinted stuffs whereof our sunsets made and his rude grasping eager hands on little stars he laid to rob god's sacred treasure house he was no whit afraid and so for centuries he worked across the void at last a bridge of precious mould did stand completed strong and fast so now the faithful lovers met and all their woe was past but soon a shining angel guard sped to the throne of gold and said lord see yon new made bridge a mortal over bold has built it scorning thy desire straightway the tale he told then said now master thou mayst see the thing that has been wrought speak then the word stretch forth thine hand that with the speed of thought this poor presumptuous work may fall and crumble into naught god looked upon the angel then and on the bridge below then with his smile of majesty he said let all things know this bridge which has by love been built i will not overthrow when darkness hovers over earth and day gives place to night then lovers see the milky way gleam mystically bright and calling it the way of love they hail it with delight end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of summer of love by joyce kilmer